This video is for class 8 chemistry and in this video we are dealing with the topic decomposition reaction. So this reaction is just opposite of combination reaction. Here decomposition means to break right a substance when decomposes means it breaks down. So let us try to understand this a decomposition reaction. A reaction in which a compound breaks up due to the application of heat into two or more simpler substances is called decomposition reaction. A substance breaks down into two or more different substances. So you can see here this is just opposite of the combination reaction in which we had a substance plus another substance will give me a new substance, right? This was what was happening in the combination reaction but now just opposite thing is happening a substance is breaking down into few other substances so let us try to understand more about decomposition reaction okay here the decomposition of the of the molecule ab ab takes place to give two new substances A and B. Here the sentence is trying to refer to this, right? Whatever we studied in the previous column. It is A plus B, right? Now, since uh, most of the decomposition reactions are carried out by heating, right? Generally, decomposition reaction takes place because of heating. They are called thermal decomposition reaction. Thermal means heat, right? So, the other name for decomposition reaction is thermal decomposition reaction, right? Generally, not all of them. Now, due to the decomposition, number one, a compound can break up to form two more elements, two or more elements, right? A compound can break to form two or more elements or a compound can break to form one element and one compound or a compound can break to form two simpler compounds like we had done in the combination reaction. Now let us try to understand the first case where a compound can break up into elements, two or more elements, right? So example number A. The compound mercuric oxide when heated decomposes to form two elements mercury and oxygen. Here you can see mercuric oxide this is a compound right it breaks up into an element mercury and another element oxygen. So here one compound is breaking down into two elements right because of heating hence it is thermal decomposition reaction. Now, if you go to the next example here, when electric current is passed through the acidulated water. So here heating is not done, it, electric current is being used. So this, can, this cannot be thermal decomposition, right? So when electric current is passed through acidulated water, the meaning of acidulated water is, the meaning of acidulated, sorry, acidulated water is, when you put few drops of acid in water, it becomes acidulated water it can be any acid but especially in this scenario here in this equation when electric current is passed through water H2O it breaks down into two different elements which is hydrogen and oxygen so here also a compound is being broken down into two elements which is hydrogen and oxygen especially in this case sulfuric acid is used to acidulate water okay I hope you understood this Number two, a compound can break to form both elements and compounds. So here you can see one compound can break into another compound and one element. For example, the compound potassium nitrate decomposes on heating to produce compound potassium nit uh, nitrate and an element oxygen, right? So here you can see potassium nitrate KNO3 when we heat it, it gives us potassium nitrite which is KNO2 and oxygen. So this is a compound here, this is an element here and this is a compound from where these two things are being 
produced so i hope you understood till here now the next thing about decomposition reaction so this is the third kind of decomposition reaction where a compound right can break up to form two simpler compounds one compound is giving two simpler compounds for example the compound calcium carbonate decomposes on heating right to form two compounds which is calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so here you can see a single compound that is calcium carbonate uh, on heating at 100 degrees celsius it is giving us calcium oxide which is one compound and carbon dioxide which is another compound so here what we can understand is uh, during a decomposition reaction a compound can break into two elements a compound can break into one element and one compound or a compound can break into two different compounds let us try to understand decomposition reaction with an activity you can go to activity 4 in your book this activity is to demonstrate the thermal decomposition of a compound so take some lead nitrate a white solid in a hard glass test tube and heat for some time you will observe that a reddish brown gas is evolved which turns moist blue litmus paper into red they are mentioning this particular uh, line here to uh, say that the reddish brown gas here should be acidic in nature because acidic substances changes blue litmus paper into red also a gas is evolved in which a glowing splinter burns into flame again they have mentioned this line right glowing splinter burst into flame right sorry i said burn it burst into flame this suggests that the gas should be oxygen this is the test for oxygen when heating is stopped a pale yellow solid is left behind the pale yellow solid is lead monoxide the reddish brown gas is nitrogen dioxide which is produced along with colorless oxygen so here you can see in the equation right this equation here a single compound right decomposes on heating that is thermal decomposition produces three different substances lead oxide which is a compound nitrogen dioxide which is also a compound and oxygen which is an element few other examples of decomposition reaction are number one kclo3 when heated that is potassium chlorate when heated it gives us potassium chloride and oxygen a compound and an element another example copper hydroxide on heating produces copper oxide and water two simpler compounds and number three copper carbonate when heated it gives us copper oxide and carbon dioxide two different compounds number four h2o2 which is hydrogen peroxide when heated it gives us water and oxygen so this much for the decomposition reaction thank you so much